everybody, welcome to Comic Gear Movie Show! And today we are reviewing another movie. Wonder Woman! 1984. Ugh. Just 84, jeez. <laughs> just eight. Oh, sorry, just 84. Alright, let you know up top. Thought it was a 12 out of 12 on the bullshit scale. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone. Um, so, you know what? I have a tendency to ramble. Mm. I'm going to Sean go first. <laughs> okay, so my score for this movie is probably going to be a bit higher than Seth. I'm giving it a 4.5. Slightly below average. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's just up top. I'm going to just go up top. If you're going to be pissed... You, you can just go now. Yeah, please. No, I'm uh, a fanboy. I don't give a shit. This one's 4. for 5. you. 4.5. Uh, some of the people who liked our other videos might come out of the woodwork for this I one. I know, right? I know some people are waiting for this. The, know, the right? Wonder Woman review. Yeah, but, so, you know uh, okay, what? Okay, I'll start. I'll start. First of all, let me list some of the things I did like about this movie. Fair enough. First of all, I did not hate Gal Gadot. Yeah. You know what? I didn't complain about her acting. Yeah. Not a single complaint. Actually... I think she's a better actress than she was in the first one. Not by a long shot, but better. Still need a couple more. Her and Steve Trevor's chemistry still works. Still works. Still works. Steve Trevor was still good. Chris Pine was still good in this movie. He was good. He was good, just like he was in the first one. His um out, fish out of water bits. Some of them were lame, but a lot of them were good. Um, Pedro Pascal. Sure, he got a little hokey near the end of it, but through but for the majority M of majority. the movie, he was a very understandable, much better than decent, really decent villain. Much better than the first two villains. Mm. There are some cool action sequences. There are, the first, a lot, fifth, a lot of cool the first fifteen minutes are actually good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anything else? Uh, <laughs> okay, um... Is there anything else? Please let me know. Go, hold on, hold on. I, I, um, Give us a second. The here. gold armor look cool? Anything else? Mm -hmm. the, the lightning part was cool. That was cool-ish. Okay, now... There's a lot of bad Let's in this movie. just get this out of the way. This is not a good movie. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's a... It's... Uh, I, I'm, to, be, to be fair, if people forget this, and I talked to Seth about this before, I gave... Actually, we both did. He, yeah, yeah. he dropped his down. I stayed... Well, later on, but I feel I like you're right. You should keep to our, we should keep to our original... What we, came, what we came out with out of the theater, which was a 7. For, we for the gave it a 7, which was, at the time, the highest score we gave a DC movie. Yeah, well, good it movie. It was a good movie. We said it was a good movie. In my opinion, I was like, you know what? This is a good origin. It's a good start. Hopefully it gets yeah, better. It did have a lot of... It's mainly the third act. The yeah. third act is really where it just Yeah, the third sounds. act... The, the thing that... Yeah, the sounds. third act... And, and like, I think, I think it's a little overrated. I think it's very overrated. It's very overrated. But it's not I still think it's a good comic book movies. Good. For a star, you know, that's not for bad. D for DC's first, like, you know, female-led superhero movie, it was a good start. It's a good start. So I was like, you Shaky know... foundation, but good start. <laughs> that's a good start. You know, I had my complaints about the movie, clearly. Well, we had our, see in our video, But I liked it. This movie isn't that as good as that movie. No. This movie is not as good as that movie. Um, Patty Jenkins tried to go for a more cartoonish... Um, Superman, the, mo th the movie kind of yeah, vibe. Yeah, definitely. Um, she tried to go for a more, um, just this old school vibe, which sometimes can work. It sometimes can work, but in this case, for the, for what they were going with, it just didn't, you know, even like the ending was just like really, like really, I, like, that's how cheap you're gonna go. I see a lot of praise for Christian Wiggs, Cheetah, and I don't get it. She is Electro, she is, um, she's like Killian from, yeah. um, Iron Man three, and she's she's so many villains. Um, she's a lot of she's, she's Edward Enigma of, from. Um, she's a stereotype. She's a stereotype from Batman yeah. Forever. Yeah, she's the classic. Oh, she's ugly because she's ugly. We don't like her. She's, she's an this, introvert. She's she stars, and we don't we, we don't care about her. Like literally, there's a scene. Spoiler alert! I don't give a fuck. I don't give there's a, a scene where she drops papers on the ground, and dudes just walk put, by her. Put in the title spoiler. You know, don't give a shit. <laughs> put something like yeah, that in parentheses. Fuck, <laughs> fuck this movie. Spoiler alert. I don't fucking care. Well, no, put it in like the title. Put it like spoilers. Don't give a shit. <laughs> I might. I might. I might. Please but, do yeah, that. Yeah, dude, like, like, the thing about it is she's not a good character. No, they rush isn't. her weak and become strong. She and obsessed basically, with power arc. yeah, the, the stereotype is she was an introvert who basically got power, attention, all that shit. Yeah. If you watch Cobra Kai, think of Hawk. Think of that guy if you've ever seen it. He got, like basically he she got 
all this power, attention, all this shit, and ran with it, and and got worse. The thing and, is, the, like I remember saying this when I first saw it. Like she literally just takes off. She literally just d takes a couple things out of her hair, um, and that's it. And no, and fixes her dress. And she learned how to wear heels. And she's immediately. Hot. Yeah, but attractive. Some of the guys who literally were just walking by her, yeah, by the, helping yeah, her with their papers. Yeah, were because just she like, dropped a thing of papers, and there was two guys that literally walked past her and didn't help, and just looked at her and kind of just went, eh. I'm just sitting there going like, oh come on, you got like, like it, it was so unrealistic. Yeah, this, this, there's a lot about this movie in terms of characters that is just so unrealistic, and it's just sitting you're sitting there going like, what the shit. And but yeah, her character yeah. is it, it, it's it, it's it's so tropey. It's and, so and like tropey. I say, and it Oof. doesn't have room to like that character trope isn't terrible. It's not but bad. You gotta give it room to breathe. But they just rush to it. Yeah, they and rush I, to it. Not to even get to the part that she doesn't become cheetah until the last like fifteen like minutes cheetah, of the movie. Actual cheetah, fur, tail, and everything. She doesn't become cheetah until the last fifteen minutes. And of they the movie. never explain how she got that look. Like she, they just went. Oh, like, the only thing you know is that she said to the main villain, I wish to become an apex predator. And that was the end of it. So, it, it, this movie leaves so many things vague in a bad way. It's and, just, it's, there's it's, a lot of things, inconsistencies in the plot. This, there's is, a lot so, of this, things. Is, this is just an inconsistent movie. Like, for example, Trevor can just fly a jet. He can fly a jet... From only going for, and from those of you who are going to criticize me on this one, you cannot go from flying a World War One biplane to flying a modern jet. It doesn't work that way. Don't get me wrong. He could probably fly it if the jet was already on and working. Sure. Could he like steer it? Possibly. But turning it all on and everything? Ah, no, no. I, I, as a former Air Force guy, I'm offended by that. That is bullshit to its Your highest Seth degree. Seth was real pissed off. That, that part, if you guys remember, I'm going to, real quick, there was my there was a part in Wonder Woman 1 where I went, get the fuck out of here in the yeah, theater. And they did it to me again with this one. When Trevor jumped in, he, ju literally, he jumps into a plane, starts flipping switches, and turns on, and he just takes off and goes. From going from a World War One biplane. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not to mention the entire MacGuffin is around a wishing rock. Yeah, it's li literally. The it is a stone. The movie is around a rock. The wishing can rock. That can grant wishes. That's it. That's the, where the whole thing starts. No, no, And then they don't explain where the rock came from until later, but even that explanation kind of sucked. Yeah. It was created you know. by a god of lies. Okay, great. That, by the way, that guy's probably dead because Ares fucking killed him. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> anyway, it's just that this movie, guys, was so inconsistent. It was just the act. The, look, the action was maybe the only thing that held. But it up. there wasn't a lot of it. There wasn't a lot of action in this movie. There's not a Wonder Woman. To let movie. you guys know, there's not actually a lot of action in this movie. There are things that don't make sense. At one point, she's there's things that are don't make sense in continuity. Yeah. First of all, she's out in broad daylight being Wonder Woman in a world where we were told in BVS and Justice League that, that she that, hasn't been active for years. And I know that she, she hasn't been active. I know DC for years. fanboys are gonna say, "Well, technically, the worlds aren't connected." Yeah, get your Marvel shit out of here. But it's just like that. It's still a sequel to that movie. Like, like, and like. She can fly. She has the random ass ability that she just pulled out of her ass. She turned the jet that they were. She can turn shit flying, invisible. That she can turn shit invisible. Out of nowhere. She can just do it. She's just like, eh, I can do that. Yeah. No, no setup. No, I'm telling you. No setup. No, Nothing. no, her fucking around with something earlier on in the movie. No, nope. she could just do it. No, she, no, she, her, exp her only explanation was I did it to a coffee cup 50 years ago. Well, we didn't see Great. that shit. Great. It was like throwaway line so that you could be like, well, she said she did it in a coffee cup. Like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was so inconsistent. It was so bad. And then, and like, by the end of it, like, the, I mean, like I said, the whole message is, is like, power can drive you to do some crazy shit. That's the message of I the movie. I appreciate, well, move on, you know, life's not that bad. And there's truth a is better. Well, truth will set you free and yeah. lies will chain you down. And that's basically what the whole thing was about. Because the early scene where she's a child and she quote-unquote cheats, even mm. though I say that, you know, for a warrior culture, finding an advantage over an enemy is a good thing, but, oh, no, it, it did seem like they might have put that there on purpose, because she immediately knew she took that path. Yeah, she immediately took that path, and, and there's like, you, you cheated, Diana. It's just like, but I was going to win, but you cheated. That's not how life works, blah, 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 blah. I will say, uh, on top of that, the CGI on Cheetah was pretty shit. Yeah, the CGI John Cheetah herself was... And don't get me wrong. Was it the worst thing I've ever seen? It wasn't no. the worst CGI no. I've ever seen. Step, it's, it's a step above Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf okay? Much. Better than Steppenwolf. But considering 
and I know people are gonna kill me for this. No, Consider ahead. what I've seen Marvel do. <laughs> they made a giant purple man look real, and you can't make a you can't make the fur on a cat lady look real. Rocket looks real. I've seen them do this. Groot. Groot. They people. We can a do this. Walking CGI trick. has come far. Very far. Why can't we get this shit down? Why can't we get literally a woman in like a cheetah skin outfit by the look of it? It's just like. It's it's the, but in comparison, che Cheetah's not that harder than it's not that harder than Thanos. Um, by comparison, by comparison, by comparison, Cheetah shouldn't be that hard. Um, not like Thanos or oh no, Rocket or Groot would be pretty tough. Yeah, they're, I mean at least with Thanos they actually had a person to yeah. model it after. Well, with Cheetah they had the same thing; they had a person to model after. So you would think it'd be easier. I don't know. Honestly, about like there's so many problems with this movie, and for one, it's a long movie. It's two, two hours, hours and thirty five minutes. minutes. No, it's it's two hours and about okay. This the real time because you got to add in credits. It's about True. two hours and twenty five minutes though. Yeah. There's like ten minutes of credits. Two hours and twenty five minutes, um, and you're gonna start feeling the yeah, you're, gonna, you're start gonna start feeling, feeling the length real early. And for on. the entire first hour and about fifteen minutes, there's nothing actually happening. By the way, why are all the dudes like really fucking creepy? Oh, being all the rapists in this city. Yeah, apparently yeah. everyone in New York. Apparently everyone in no, not New York, in DC. Apparently everyone in man DC is a rapist because everyone was catcalling. So not not even like annoying, like catcalling to a point where it was just like cringe. Wasn't funny. It wasn't interesting. It was cringe. And it really bothered me because you brought this up, and I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "This is what people think was happening in Captain Marvel." Yeah, this, literally. There's a scene <laughs> in the. I'm just gonna say, it. there's a scene in the movie where before Cheetah gets all of her abilities, like there's like a drunk dude who's like getting all touchy feeling, getting her hands on her and shit. And I'm like, I literally stopped the movie and went, "This is what people think Captain Marvel, like Captain Marvel is. It's this yeah. right here." And it's just like... And the thing that pissed me off a bit, no one's talking about this. Nope. Even the people who don't like this movie, no one's talking about all of this weird shit with all these dudes being such pigs and yeah. rape. And yeah, it's like, hey, like, like, literally, right. you can't go a fucking hair's breath without someone going, without some dude going, hey, babe, hey, hon, you look good. Hey, hon, you want to do... Hey, babe, it's just like, dude, it happens all yeah. the time. And like I said, yeah, Cat Marvel gets shit for one dude. Yeah. One fucking dude, and they got yeah. labeled this SJW hey, movie. Shit. This is... Fucking SJW you as fuck right here. Nobody cares about that. No, nobody cares about that. It's Wonder Woman. It's Wonder yeah, Woman. Yeah, 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 right? Nobody cares about that. Who cares, who cares about that? <laughs> anyway, that was just, that was just one. And then, by the way, at the end of the movie, when she meet, finally meets the one dude that doesn't do it, mm -hmm. who happened to be, you know, Steve's body. Yeah, that was over. weird too. It's Steve jumping in the body of a guy. Yeah, jumping <laughs> in the body of a guy. But by the way, she, by the way, st like Diana, like, her, like his face doesn't change. By the way, Diana sees Steve, but by the, but the whole time Steve looks like this other dude. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really throwing you off. So it's like, wait, she sees technically sees she sees this dude, but it's like all I see is your face. It's just like, oh, give me a fucking break. Yeah, but yeah, that's what she sees. But everybody else sees like a normal, you know, sees him. Listen, like the fish out of water thing was f kind of funny, but it wasn't like I don't know, it wasn't like that. Ha ha. Yeah, I didn't really add too too much. It didn't like, add too too much. It added a little bit because there's some there were some things in there where he went whoa. And not I'm to like, mention as much as I like that scene at the first 15 minutes with the whole you know Olympic thing going yeah, on. The Amazonian Olympics that were going on. Um, it really didn't add anything yeah. to it. Okay, let's. We don't have what? a lot of time left, so um, oh, so this movie, guys, was not okay. So I'm gonna give this movie a fucking. Here we go. You know, I'm, I'm gonna. The Are you gonna get dramatic coming. now, Sam? No. Two. <laughs> this movie is a two, mainly because of the get the fuck out of here moment I had. The second one I've had with this movie over something that was so... By the way, Patty Jenkins' father was a pilot. Died she grew up actually. around pilots. She grew up around pilots. That's why, she she's, grew up around doing, that's why she's doing that um, Star Wars. Um, yeah, that's why she's doing the Star Wars stuff. So for her to literally... Rogue Squadron. For, so, for, so, for, so for her to go, oh yeah, Steve could go from flying a biplane to a jet... Oh yeah, that makes. They needed sense. a reason. They needed a reason to make it invisible. <laughs> okay. And that too. They needed a reason to make it invisible because she just went. Yeah, I went to this one. Poof, and then there. All right, right. Let's let's wrap it. Look, yeah. people, this is not a very particular. By the way, movie. they also like she couldn't fly, but then all of a sudden she discovered how to fly. But then it looked like she wasn't flying, and then Seth, Seth, let's wrap this. This movie was trash. Please don't watch it. It's, it's not a particular good movie. It's, it's not trash. as good as the first one. I see. There's a lot of people who are excited about it, and that's awesome. Right yeah, now, it's got a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes, so it's obviously people are mixed on it. Yeah. Uh, I personally couldn't recommend it to you, but if you like the first one, you might like it. But I doubt the first one was pretty was okay to good. Yeah. So and I and so I I just can't recommend. This. I can't this recommend this one either. It's, it's just 4.5 like, like, for me. It, like, if you're expecting a, a better like an improvement, it's that's not here. 
It's no. just here. No. Like it, but anyway, I, we rambled on long enough. So bring on the hate, please. Please bring it on. I guess it had less seat slow motion. <laughs> they, they, they always did those weird bursts of slow motion. Anyway, we're getting off. So anyway, guys, what did you think of Wonder Roman? If you've seen it, let us know in the comment section below. We would love to see your feedback. And fanboys, you can go get fucked. Anyway, thank you for joining us on. Comic Game Move Show. Please write, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of us in the future. And we shall see you on the next one. <laughs> Don't be so depressing. Goodbye. This movie sucked. <laughs>